Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween in Middle School for Life. Well, it is uh, 52 minutes into the uh, second day of November 2021. Uh, oh, I forgot to do a transition vlog while I was outside doing doing my observational observation observational work. It just kind of slipped my mind. Anyways, uh, things have been been going pretty well. Uh, what I can say right now is that uh, I thought I had something more to say, but I don't. Happens <laughs> sometimes. Sit down. And you think you got some stuff to say, but eh, not necessarily. Oh, I've been. Doing, I'm doing the. I'm. Do, I'm doing the YouTube show. I started early today. I started around five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I spent the rest of the. Uh, coupon that I got for Uber Eats. So, that's the only time I order out is when I have a coupon and and I'm getting stuff for free or or at half price, then, yeah, then I'll order. Otherwise, uh, I don't order anything else. Uh, I don't order out. Uh, so, uh, that's it for uh, this month in terms of ordering out. I just got a sub. I'll have, I got two for one, so I had one earlier and I'll have one now. My decision is if well, if I'm going to order out again, I'll look for two-for-one subs. Now, they seem to be the better price in terms of what you spend uh, as compared to, let's say, a burger or something like that. You pay the spend, uh, spend money on a burger, uh, that money is gone in that one meal. So, where if you get a two-for-one sub, particularly a foot-long sub, well, that's two meals right there, so that gives you uh, $10 a meal. So, uh, I think that's pretty good in terms of... Uh, when you're, uh, you know, you're going to splurge just late night, and uh, I've done the cereal thing enough, so, but the thing is, I still do have, going to have cereal more often than not, but on occasion, it's okay to, <laughs> uh, you know, get your delivery at 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, when you're still doing the work, that's kind of the way things work here, is that, uh, I'm up all night, when, and this is, I get the 3 a.m., I get the 3 a.m. FOMO, uh, fear of missing out, uh, and it's not that it's, it's not it's not that somebody else is I know somebody else is doing something out there. It just it, it, it just kind of pops into my mind. Well, what other what are what are other people doing? Is I know they're sleeping, but you know, <laughs> it, 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 being up late at night and it's typically you because everyone else is sleeping. Uh, there's no one else around, so you have that sense of of in any case isolation. So the place is. The place is yours. Like, I'm, I'm uh, where, where I am right now, there's no one else here. So the place is mine. I can wander around, do whatever I want to do, and, you know, <laughs> do within the, within, the, within the certain limitations. And, uh, this kind of, that's kind of the way things are. It, 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 this is how I live my life. And, and you know, I, I, often, I, I often talk about Carly, because I see Carly, she's now in the, uh, she's doing the online school, and that leads her into, this type of mode where she's very up very late and doesn't get up until like like uh, until like noon, <laughs> and it gets you into it. It gets you into a certain a set of mind. I think there's a lot of artists, a lot of artists, a lot of writers will stay up late at night. Um, there's something about oh, working late at night that really sort of uh, stimulates the creative juices, if you will. So. Uh, Anyway, I'm going on to uh, Family Forever Logs. I haven't checked Carly. I'm going to go buy Carly Reese and uh, uh, Cashley J. Then also I'm going to go buy... Uh, I know Allie hasn't done anything. She has, she's more than a month now. She hasn't posted to a channel. So I hope I hope that she gets the uh, courage to start posting again. Uh, but this is a difficult thing. When we're in a new, new era of YouTube where it's no longer about channel monetization, but rather about the sponsors you bring in, how you tend to finance, how you tend to, the monetize, the monetization is, is your, your own sense of monetization. In other words, it's a business. You have to go out and earn and generate capital. Uh, and that's the only way you're going to start earning money. So this is simply the platform. You go out and you earn your money, depending on, on how you want to do it in terms of bringing in, uh, 
ad revenue or sponsors or donations or however you want to do it, that's up to you. But the thing is, you have to produce, you have to create. And at a certain point in time, you have to find your audience. You have to go and look for the people who are going to be your audience. And that's not always an easy thing to do. And sometimes you'll have uh, day, uh, you'll have periods that are good where you have a lot of viewership. Other times that gonna, the viewership is going to drop off, and you're going to find a way, find a way to bring in new viewership. How to drive uh, your your ratings, your 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 viewership. And of course, as your viewership improves, so does your marketability in terms of uh, of people who would be interesting in being seen or associated with you in terms of sponsorship. Uh, this hour is sponsored by Colgate. This hour is sponsored by. <laughs> Geritol. <laughs> Geritol, that's the, it was, uh, I gotta adjust this a little bit. There we go. Geritol is a tonic, which is actually an alcohol, because it's a, the OL at the ending of the Geritol means you're dealing with an alcohol. Uh, that supposedly uh, brought in a lot of vitamins and made uh, elderly people feel go good. So this was a drink for older for, for elderly people and this was uh, uh, they were one of the sponsors of uh, the Lawrence Welk show the Lawrence Welk show was basically a big band and a lot of old classical music and stuff like that and it appealed to the older crowd the older demographic of uh, basically uh, 50 and above and above and stuff where you get into the well 60 and above is, 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 is basically your geriatric stage and so this would be Geritol, so be the, the elderly people. So, <laughs> but I'm I'm getting I'm getting close there myself. I'm 56, so I'm close to the uh, to the elderly stage. I'm certainly not uh, in the teenage years in terms of the physical age, but in terms of what I do and the way I, I exist, I'm still pretty. As I said, I'm I'm a tween for life, and so that's the way it's going to be, and uh, that's the way I live. You know, that's hence hence the background. You know. Anyways, uh, I will see you uh, for the next transition. Hopefully, I'll remember to vlog if I can. and Otherwise, I'll see you uh, uh, once again back here again. Well, it is just 11 o'clock in the morning on the second day of November, and we've got a package opening. Didn't kind of expect this, but anyways... Uh, it's here. I have a feeling I know what it is, but we will soon find this out what it is. Oh, oh, what I expected. Some more pants came in. So I'm happy for that. Yay for that. Uh, this is from a new place. Test. It was at the test purchase. Uh, if I like it, then I'll be buying more. So, uh, we'll have to sort of figure out how this ends up working out. Alrighty, I'll see you in a bit. Well, while we're here, I'm starting this again. Uh, while we're here, let me just sort of adjust this a little bit. There we go. Um, I forgot to lock the exposure. There we go. Ugh. It is now 29 minutes into the third day of November, and this is not uh, the observational law, but this is a, transi a transition section. I, I'm, I, I, I'm supposed to be filming at, at the points of transition. That's where we are now. Just finished the uh, uh, just finished the observation vlog. I have another half hour, 45 minutes list of observation out here, and then I'll go inside and, and see what I want to do next in terms of what's on the schedule. I do have uh, an appointment tomorrow. I have to do do some measuring work on a sound system I'm installing. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually upgrading it. So, But the thing is, enough repair work has to be done. It's going to take me a year, so I'm going to do part of the work tomorrow night. Uh, between uh, I'll be leaving here about ooh, probably 3 o'clock in the No, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, just the way I usually do. 4, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, hitching a ride uh, to church. Uh, with my equipment and then do the measurements and then when I get back I have to order all the parts that I need uh, I've got most of the parts there are some parts that later that, that need to come in from Amazon and the Amazon the Amazon takes a couple of days to come in uh, and so that by way by the weekend 
I can start doing the installation depending on on, on when the order goes through and how, how fast they they do their delivery. So most be within two days because uh, the person that's paying for everything has uh, Amazon Prime, and so it should be one to two working days. But you never know; uh, these things often have hiccups, and <laughs> sometimes they work, and sometimes they don't work. Uh, anyways, I'm still, uh, in many cases, talking to myself. Uh, the number of people who are sort of uh, watching the viewership is at a, uh, you know, I, I think I, I top out at five, at five people uh, per, per uh, video. I know it's a lot. It's, it's, that's why I've cut, I've cut the, the essays, the verbal essays, these are the notes. Uh, I cut the verbal essay down to a half hour, but I could have done an hour easily because there's enough stuff to do, but most people can't handle the half hour. So, <laughs> and I think that, uh, uh, Lionel goes, does his stuff hour, two hours behind a wall. Is it the subscription wall? Uh, but I don't know how many people because I've, seen, I've talked to people, and their level of understanding is very minute. It's hard to surely pick to pick things up. I mean, I I I don't didn't pick it pick it up easy. It wasn't easy for me to, to get all the stuff together. I've been doing this now bits and pieces, sitting out here like this. Uh, for 30 years, I've been doing observational research for now for 30 years. So I I know what I know. I can do the essays the way I did because I've got 30 years worth of experience under my belt. A person who is just coming into this or maybe they've done a year, you're still pretty much at the beginning. And there's going to be a lot more left to do in terms of reading, studying, uh, checking out sources and uh, Googling terms that I talk about or things I talk about uh, or something that Lionel talked about. Uh, Max uh, uh, Kaiser on RT is pretty good, and they'll give you. They'll give you. It's not everything is good. But it's, I'd say pretty good because every every system, every every pundit has their own spin. They have their own sense of view in terms of where the perspective is, and so in, in many cases, they're even part. You can see that they're part of a matrix. They're part of some. Some of them are leftist. Some of them are, are centrist. Some of them are capitalist. Some of them, they, they, they all have their own perspective and you have to sort of pick through it in order to get the information but that only comes with time you, you you go into the source without expecting anything you take your notes you listen and then uh you put your notes down and either go to sleep or have some tea <laughs> you know watch some tv i watch what my tv is vlogs the youtube stream with the alley vlogs and the leroy's and stuff like that um uh kesley and uh, uh, Carly Reese, the, the, our family nest. That's my TV. That's what I like. People like watching these so-called reality shows like Survivor. Well, this is my Survivor. This is my Big Brother. <clears throat> but it's not scripted. It's real. It's it's it's. You can see when the when the interaction is real and when it's scripted. You can tell if something's scripted or not. And I prefer the real interaction. These are the ones I watch. The ones the ones I watch on a regular basis. The, the the family has a rapport where the interaction, the, 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 how they work together in terms of their relationship, this is what draws you into the vlog as something to watch. Now, there are other families who have no, actually no relationship. I've, I've seen them where you go to the dinner table and nobody's talking. Everyone's silent. There's no how was your day or what was that happened or that happened. Uh, there's nothing like that. It's just complete silence. It's just that they have nothing to say to each other. And I've, but I've seen, you've seen vlogs like that where there's really nothing to say. It's not about oh going to a store and this and that. And they do this. They go to the store. They show you what they buy, bought. They have the hauls. But it's actually about the interaction. It's about the conversation. If the conversation isn't there, I skip over it and I go to something else. Uh, and but the thing is, the vlogs I've chosen. Throughout the vlog, there is the conversation, there is the interaction, and the halls come in as a uh, sort of an extra bit of filler, if you will. And that's that's what I like. But again, it's, it's not for everybody. It's, it, people like what they like, and uh, that's about it. That's about uh, how people see it. And after I've done my vlogs, I go off to cartoons if there's still time. But sometimes, you know, today it's been I've been up and down uh, every three hours. Every three hours. I'd go to bed for three hours. I'd wake up and oh, time to go do do some extra work, do 
do the next chunk of things and uh, work till I got tired and back to bed again. So anyways, uh, I think that's it for our transition. I'm going to uh, pack everything up and uh, within about 45 minutes head on in. It's, it's uh, uh, about the... Uh, it's uh, 36 minutes into the day, so 36, 36 minutes into uh, November 3rd. And I'm going to wait until just about 1 o'clock in the morning to go in. So I've got a half hour. I may, may stay to 1.30. I don't know yet. It really depends on how I feel and if there's anything to sort of see. But right now, I know what's going on in the satellite. I can match the sky up with the satellite. Uh, no trains have come through. I've heard the indication of trains, but no trains have actually come through. So, in terms of the horns and stuff like that. So, uh, without the atmospheric physics, uh, without the acoustical physics today, in terms of the observation. The planes are, are pretty good. I can actually see the planes. I was able to see the planes last night uh, and be able and able to determine how high the clouds are and determine what I'm looking at in terms of the satellite. Uh, in other words, there's a number of observational indications that I can see that... Uh, makes it worthwhile to sit out here. But again, you have to take these observations bit at a time and eventually start working them together. Anyways, I think a train is coming because I hear the uh, electric motors. Uh, there's a whine of the electric motor that you, that you hear. And there's something coming in, I think, from the left waveguide, which is the west the west, the west uh, waveguide. That means it might be a westbound train. I'm not necessarily too sure. But anyways... We'll see if it ever if it happens. I've got I've got another uh, half hour to an hour to go, so we'll see what happens. See you later. Well, it's uh, two hours and ten minutes into the fourth day of November, I think. Ugh, should have checked. I think it is the fourth, third or the fourth. I should have checked, but I didn't do that, so let's do that now. Yeah, it's the third. <laughs> uh, two hours and 11 minutes into the third day. Oh, I'm just getting in. Uh, there is a train. There, there are actually a couple trains there. There uh, seems to be assembling another train. Uh, so, something's going on with it, where they're moving the cars back and forth, and, and uh, you hear the the rattle of uh, the trains connecting. Uh, and this kind of gives you an idea. You can actually hear the uh, the rattle of the train all, all the way across the, uh, the waveguides uh, from east to, from west to east, and, oh, well, no train came by as as, as yet, and so you're waiting for, for the, uh, the, the horn, but there was no horn, so I just, at, at two o'clock, I just got too tired, and I heard enough, so, uh, I decided just to come in. And so that's where I'm here. I'm back at the research desk waiting for the, uh, there's a heater that's trying to start up. It's, it's, it's getting there, but it's going to take a while because they, they, these heaters haven't been used in, uh, oh, more than six months. So, uh, it's that time of year again to bring the heat back on. Uh, so it's about 35, 34, 35 degrees, uh, Fahrenheit. And so that's, uh, the freezing temperature of water. It's warm enough in here. But it just needs a little assist, so we'll see how things end up working out. Anyways, uh, I'm going to begin my YouTube stroll and go from there. See what happens. We are Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween and Middle School for Life.